you're going to have to learn a completely new way to communicate if the divorce and custody drama doesn't end for you when those papers are signed. Listen, I learned this from a lawyer down in San Antonio. You need to analyze every single thing that you put into writing, text messages, on social media, in an email, and think, what if this was on the Jumbotron at the Spurs game or at the Austin FC match and everybody was reading it? Would I be proud of this? Would this look to a judge like I really care about my kids and I'm a super stable adult who can be trusted to take care of them? You need to put every single thing that you write down through that framework so you don't go off saying something because you're mad and it's 11 o'clock at night and you had a glass of wine so you pop off. You do that, it will cost you. Because the thing is, remember, you're going to be the adult in the room and you need to understand that the facts are that often the court expects you to be perfect. If you're the stable one in the situation, if you're the one who's holding that line of reasonability and then one time you pop off, guess what? At that court hearing and your deposition, all you're going to hear about is that one thing that you said. Hey, and I don't make the rules. I don't make the facts. I'm not in charge of how this works and it's not fair. All right? It's not fair fair and you can spend the rest of your life being mad that it's not fair but the thing is my suggestion is you drop that resistance nobody promised you fair you're a parent right you know you even tell your kids life's not fair fair is uh, lawyers always joke that it's um, the most hated uh, four-letter F word right and in this situation it's not going to be fair the standards that you're gonna be held to and if you can move beyond that and try to focus on the main thing, keep the main thing the main thing. It's maintaining the orders and the agreements that you worked so hard to get or that you fought in court to get. So analyze every single thing you write down in particular as if it was going to be on the Jumbotron. Now, a corollary to considering everything you write down is everything you say. You got to watch your mouth. Here's the thing, Texas is a one party consent state. That means that only one party to any conversation has to consent to its recording. So if the person with the phone in their pocket or the little like microphone hits record, they've consented. So anywhere you go, basically, somebody can be recording you. So you need to assume that a mic is running every time you interact with your co-parent. Anytime you interact with the X Factor, if it's on a FaceTime, if it's in the parking lot, you need to think, am I being recorded? And how's that going to sound when it's on, you know, decibel 50 in the courtroom? And watch your mouth. Now look, this is not the advice for those of you who are, um, have ended super well, who are in a kumbaya, we go on ski trips together, family. Bless y'all. I'm so excited for you. That's so cute. For the rest of us. This is the advice that you need to know to go for the long haul. Look, we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt that nobody wanted. This is the rules. This is how you learn to live the rest of your life in freedom. It feels restrictive at first, okay? It feels like somebody's closing in on you. You gotta watch everything you say, everything you do, everything you write. Yeah, you do. That's the facts, ma'am. But as soon as you can embrace that and really take it in, it makes your life easier because you judge everything you're going to do or say by that standard. Hey, would I want this on the Jumbotron? Would I like to hear this through a loudspeaker? Would I want to read this on the front page of the newspaper? If any of those answers is no, don't do it. It's not worth it. And here's the thing. It's never going to give you the satisfaction that you think you want. I'm telling you, getting that one-liner off, that pop-off, taking a shot at the new wife, the new husband, how they're fat now, how they're stupid anyway, how they'll never amount to anything without you, maybe it'll give you 30 seconds of that uh, feeling and you're going to pay for it through the rest of your case. And even worse, you can 
inflame that conflict and then your kids are going to experience it because if you're already dealing with someone who's unreasonable and who's not maybe super nice when you're starting to be a little bit of a jerk to them their temperature is going to go up and they've got your kids up to maybe half the time and that's going to flow out so i need you to be the adult in the room i need you to analyze your communications very carefully and adjust your behavior appropriately and the thing is if you can adopt this i swear to you your entire life will get better and not to mention that of your kids